first questions asked about film production is, how much? Well, <laughs> how long is a piece of string? A motion picture is not a stock or inventory item. It can cost surprisingly little or involve a budget that would choke an elephant. Now, the cost of camera raw stock, that's a fixed item. Maybe this is the place to start. Now, let me see. Uh, my movie should run about 20 minutes. That'll take about seven rolls of film. At about $8 a roll, that'll be um, $56. Then magnetic striping. Uh, let me see. 20 minutes is 720 feet. At two and a half cents a foot, that'll be... Eighteen dollars. Eighteen and fifty-six are seventy-four dollars. So, twenty-minute film will cost about seventy... Seventy-five dollars. Boy, movies sure cost an awful lot. <laughs> yes, films can cost a lot. But there's more to producing a motion picture than buying raw stock. Perhaps it would be better to go to someone with film experience. Photo department, Sawyer. Oh, yes, uh, Jim, this is Joe Madden, sales promotion. Oh, yeah, Joe, what can I do for you? We want to make a product picture on that new tramjet. 16 millimeter, color, say, about uh, 20 minutes. How much cost? Well, give me some more information, Joe. Information? What kind of information? Well, you know, who's the audience going to be? How many locations? How many actors? How much equipment? You know. Look, Jim, we'll whack all that stuff out later. Call me back, huh, in about five minutes? We want to get going. Yeah, but, 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 Joe. Joe! Uh. Hello, Joe. $12,000. Fine. I knew you'd come up with a figure that'd be right in the bullseye. Thanks, Jim. Sure. Okay. Sometimes the bullseye is way off base. Certain basic information is required before a quotation can be made. It might be best to call in an outside expert, a practicing producer for some realistic and firm figures. There's really no secret about prices, you know. There's no secret about our prices, Mr. Johnson. No, indeed. I'll figure them out for you right now. I'm listening. Yes, sir. Now, I want to be sure I've got all the facts straight. Now, what you want is a 20-minute uh, a film, right? That's right. And uh, you want it in uh, full sound and uh, full color. That's right. Right? All right. Now, uh, we want to show the, uh, the factory. Yes. And uh, any other scenes that are necessary to tell the story, right? That's right. Okay, let me figure this now for a few minutes, and uh, I'll have it for you. Fine, that's what I've got to have, because, well, naturally, price is a big factor. Got to fit into our budget. On the other hand, we don't intend to be unreasonable. We realize that pictures cost money. And I've discussed that angle pretty thoroughly with our board, and I think they understand it. You get about what you pay for in anything you buy. So we can understand a reasonable proposition. But we don't expect to pay Hollywood prices. We wouldn't hold still for that, indeed not. So, if you can convince me that your price is fair and that the picture will be good, well, I'll be able to get the money from my board. Fine. That's the business-like way to look at it, Mr. Johnson. 
Oh, yes, the business-like approach. It involves many things. How much you have to spend is a rather critical item, as it will determine how much a producer can work into a film. When you're contemplating a show, discuss it with a producer in its earliest stages. Give him complete and detailed information and allow him to submit a proposal. This proposal will contain a total budget and cost breakdown and a suggested story treatment. This permits determination of cost in advance of expenditure and gives a comprehensive idea of the end product. But without sufficient information, the question, how much, can only be answered by, how long is a piece of string?